But yeah, what do you think? Oh, you see, it's, it's interesting because it, Eddie Pillar put up a thing the other day and he was saying, you know, nobody give a, a fig about the small faces for a long while. And, and it's kind of one of my reasons why I would pick Arm and Man perhaps over mm. Spencer Davis. They were, Spencer Davis were very much a club band. And, yeah. and consequently, I've got that book, which is all about like the Twisted Wheel and all of them. And they played there a lot. And you kind of get the impression that the small faces were a pop band. Yes. You know, really good songs. I'm not dismissing the songs. Really good songs that stood the test of time. But yeah. ultimately, the um, Spencer Davies, you know, it's a bit easier to dance to. It wasn't Sha La 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 Lee, was it? It's kind of a no, good, no. it's a gut wrenching. That's why it's been covered by so many people's song. So I, it's a lot more kind of, it's almost like a, got a bit of a punk ethic to it, hasn't it? Like that yeah. kind of, that vocal technique that they used in production, that like, really peaking sound it sounds like he doesn't care that he's kind of breaking the ribbon inside the mic he's really screaming he's going for yes it. i'd give you that tom and i think i think you're, you're trying because i'm a man you're so mm -hmm. you know it's real kind of powerful stuff i love yeah. the bass line i don't know if you look the bass line and that is dum 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 yeah, yeah, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. that's it you know that's that could be a stones tune couldn't it it, it yeah. does sound like something the rolling stones would have done in the early 60s yeah. I think. 